Do you want a water bottle? Yeah, let me get a water bottle. Here. What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. So today I'm trying out something different, guys. I'm actually gonna pull off a prank. So SB, he's heading this way right now. I told him that we were gonna work on one of his videos because he's trying to launch his channel really soon. So I told him that I had a really cool idea for a challenge that we could do on one of his videos. And so I told him that we needed a sponge and a water balloon. So that's what we're basically gonna be using. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set up this prank. But right now he's heading this way. Now guys, I've never ever done this type of video before where I actually prank somebody. You know that most of my examples are just demonstrations. And this time, he's really gonna fall for it. He's gonna get super wet and it's gonna be super hilarious, guys. So I have my GoPro here handy, which is gonna help me capture that awesome moment when he gets pranked. It's gonna be hilarious, guys. So I'm hoping that this prank does work because I've never really tried it. But I'm certain that it is going to work, guys. And if you guys are super excited about that, give this video a thumbs up, guys. And let's get going. Oh, and by the way, guys, I'll probably have some other pranks after I prank him. So look out for those. Let's get started. Check it out. Right here, I have a water bottle, and right here I have another one. This one's gonna be mine, and this one's gonna be SB's, but this one's gonna be booby-trapped. So basically, guys, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna remove the label, I'm gonna empty out this water bottle about halfway. This amount works for me, half of it is gone. I'm gonna take my knife, and I'm gonna cut right above the water line. This is like the worst cut ever, it's not even straight. That's fine. So I've detached the top from the bottom and then I'm gonna put it back but this time the label's gonna hold it in place and that's pretty much it guys. Yeah it's not gonna be where it used to be but that's okay. SB will not see this coming. He really won't. Here you go guys. Here's the water bottle and now just in case that other prank doesn't work which I hope at this point if I do show you this prank it would have already been executed and he's gonna be wet. Hopefully, hopefully, let's hope guys. All right, well, I'm gonna set this camera right here. It's gonna be hidden inside the cabinet. And in the meantime, he's about 15 minutes away. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up this prank if you guys wanna try it on somebody. For that, you're gonna need the following. A large sponge like this one, a needle like the one you see right here. It's just the right length and you're gonna need a water balloon as well. But first, let's set up. All right guys, so I have my hot glue getting ready right here. And I got my sponge and my needle. So the thing with this prank guys is we're gonna cause the water balloon to pop on SB's head. So the setup for this is you take the needle and on the center of the sponge you're gonna pierce the needle through all the way in. And then look it barely comes out through the other side once you press on it of course. But when you leave it still you can't even see it. Look that is perfect right there guys. And look at the bottom. The bottom you can barely see it as well. So the bottom guys, we're gonna cover with hot glue. That way your victim can't suspect anything. So take some hot glue and put some on the bottom of the needle like so. And then we're gonna do the same to other spots just so that this particular spot doesn't draw attention. And if your friend asks, just tell him or her that it's just for grip. That's basically what I'm gonna tell SB if he questions it. But you know, SB's not really gonna think much of this. So apply glue all over the sponge. Also, the glue helps so that the needle doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't get lost because we don't want nobody getting poked with it. And at this point, the sponge is ready. We're gonna let this dry though. And look, you can't even see the needle on top, right? Except when it's squeezed. So the weight of the balloon is gonna make the needle pop out even more. And when that happens, well, the balloon is gonna face the needle and the needle will always win. Give you guys a little example. So here's my balloon and I'm gonna fill it up with air. Look at that. The real prank is gonna contain water and not air. All right, so I have SB believing that the purpose of this challenge is to balance a water balloon on top of a sponge that's on your head. So basically like this. You're gonna take the sponge, place it on your head like this, and then you're gonna try to balance a water balloon on top of it, right? Well, it's not even gonna get that close because once the balloon weighs down the sponge, the needle's gonna be exposed and it's gonna pop the balloon. Let me show you an example right now. I have this balloon filled with air. Of course, this one's not heavy. So if I place it on top, like so, it's not gonna pop it, guys, because it doesn't have that weight. 
but once it's filled with water, it is gonna pop, just like this. So basically, let's pretend that this is a water balloon, guys. I'm gonna place it on top of the sponge. It's gonna weigh it down. <laughs> Ow. So yeah, the balloon popped because of the sponge. So just imagine this being a water balloon and this being on top of your friend's head, just like it's gonna be on top of SB's hand. It's gonna get them good. So now let's get ready for this prank. SB should already been here. That guy is making me wait. But it's totally gonna be worth it, guys. Oh, that's SB. <laughs> hey, where are you going? I'm so excited to prank this guy. Who's that? SB. Oh, it's SB's in the house. <laughs> What's good? What's good? What's up, man? You ready for this challenge or what? Let's do this. You finally used that GoPro, huh? Finally, man. I bought this, uh, I think it was Black Friday when I got it, and uh, I haven't really used it since then. It's not. Oh, get out of the way, fool. So, uh, you remember the concept of this challenge, right? Yeah, somewhat. Alright, well, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it makes for a good video. I ain't gonna lie, man. It should, it should, you know, be entertaining. Alright. Let's do this! I don't know if I'm gonna be in this video or not, but you're definitely gonna be in it. Basically the challenge is, we're gonna take this sponge, right? And we're gonna get a water balloon. All right. So we're gonna fill up this balloon right here with water. You're gonna try to balance this sponge on your head. So place this on your head. Oh man, look at that nice fade. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna take the water balloon and you're gonna have to balance the water balloon for at least 10 seconds. You think you can do that? I can handle that. All right, and basically that's it. We're gonna have a lot of people trying out this challenge. If, you, if you're successful, stand steady, do not move, and keep the balloon on top of your head. So let's fill up the balloon right now, man. Right. I think that um, we should film this in the garage just in case. Okay, so SB is filling up the water balloon as we speak and I'm setting up in the garage. So the camera's ready guys, right now <laughs> we're gonna pretend to do a little intro for his video and then you'll see what's gonna happen. Hopefully this prank works. All right, you got the balloon ready? Yep, it's a big balloon bro. Let me see, whoa, how, how heavy is that? Very heavy, man. I don't think whoa. this is gonna be able to <laughs> balance on the head, but whoa. All right, so let's do, let's do the intro for the, the, the video. And you introduce yourself and let them know what the challenge is about. Uh, I'm just gonna be right here. Alright. Alright guys, this is SB. You guys know me because I've been in X Rakers videos already. In a few of them. So <laughs> let's get this challenge going. Alright. <laughs> so sorry to butt in guys. So what are we gonna be doing right now? I am going to try to balance this on my head on top of this sponge. So the sponge, basically this is the sponge guys, he's gonna place it on his head and then try to balance that balloon on top. We're gonna see if he can actually do it. I've already done it and it works, but I wanna test out his balance, I wanna test out his skills, I wanna see if he can do it. So let's do it. <laughs> Here. Man, let me show you what's up. Yeah. 
He actually thought that this was a legit video that we were shooting. He thought it was gonna be a challenge. Well, <laughs> he should have known better, right? <laughs> you should have known better than trusting you, man. Well, I am the master prankster, man. Hey, so we actually didn't shoot a video. <laughs> this was the video, man. Oh, <laughs> I captured it on camera. Damn. Camera is right there. And I got the GoPro. This is going online, man. <laughs> so, guys, go check out SB's channel. Link is below. It's in the cards and it's at the end of this video. Check out his videos, guys. Show him some love. <laughs> Let him know that you saw him on one of my videos. Let him know that he got pranked. Make fun of him. Well, as you just saw, guys, the prank was a success. SB's in the bathroom changing his shirt. Well, I thought about it. Remember how I showed you that I was gonna set up a second prank on him? Just in case this one backfired? Why not? Let's get him twice. So two for the price of one, right? So as soon as he gets out of the bathroom, I'm gonna ask him, hey, SB, you want a water bottle? So I'm sure he's gonna say yes, even though he just got soaked with water. If he wants a water bottle, I'm gonna toss it at him, but I'm gonna toss him the booby-trapped one right here. The one that's split in half. Either he catches it or he doesn't. That water's still gonna splash on him. So let's wait for him to come out. Change your shirt already? Yeah. You ready to get destroyed or what? Let's do it, man, before it gets hot. It's still gonna, it's gonna get hot. Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. You want a water bottle? Yeah, let me get a water bottle. Here. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Hey, now you gotta switch out your, uh, your My shorts. shorts. I might end up going with boxers or something, man. You might have to. <laughs> hey, tell me you brought an extra pair. I didn't. Oh well, man, it's hot out here. It's gonna dry up eventually. <laughs> you got my dog's bed wet, man. Well, that's not right. Well, that's what you get. As you guys just saw, I pranked SB twice. Not once, twice, guys. I got him really, really good, didn't I? Very good. Don't ever trust Snake Raker. If you guys ever come around him or whatever, do not trust him with anything. Do not leave him alone because he will get you with something. He always gets me. I'm already used to it, so. Pretty much my house is already booby trapped, guys. I have set up pranks, backup pranks like on this guy. So yeah, guys, don't trust me as he said. I got pranks all over the place. But with that being said, guys, I just showed you a really great way to prank people, your friends, your family members for April Fools. So if you guys want more April Fools ideas such as pranks and booby traps, check out my channel. I have lots and lots of pranks there, guys. You will not be disappointed and you will be ready for April Fools Day. I want to thank SB for being a good sport. He actually took two pranks without getting upset. So thank you, SB. And a shout out to his channel because he already has a channel. So please, guys, check him out. Subscribe to him. Follow him. Link is below in the cards and at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you, SB, for taking the, the taking, hit. <laughs> taking one for the team. Taking huh? it for the team. <laughs> we'll see you pranksters in our next video. Peace. Well, nothing suspicious about this, except that when they <laughs> do pour that ketchup on it, when you have a good smelling scent and a horrible scent, it's just something you can't bear. So just squirt it, guys. Look. So when SB tries to get his phone, he's gonna get a really, really good scare, thinking that his phone is broken. Then when he turns it around, <laughs> it got me really good, guys. Ah.